Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to the one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? All right, so I wanna do a quick little three card spread. Uh, tarot reading, we're gonna use some of the decks that we just went over and unveiled. All right, and we are going to do uh, Desire, Obstacle, and Solution. This is a collective reading. Okay, this is also timeless, so whenever you see this, this is when it's meant for you. Desire, obstacle, solution. Okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is, what is this? This is the Nine of Swords. Yes, Nine of Swords. And the Magician. All right, so your desire. So your desire is to move forward and to make money, right? To have tangible items, uh, to look to the future, and kind of figure out what your goals are. You're moving towards something that is um, of material item or even your spirituality. You may want to be um, speaking to source, and this is your desire. Um, so maybe you need to meditate on it. It looks like he's kind of being hypnotized by this pentacle. All right, looking into the future like a crystal ball. Okay, and we're here on the land. So this looks like some sort of a farming land. Right, and you're kind of roaming around trying to figure this out, how you can make money. Maybe this is a job that you were looking for. You know, knights are more of um, like a teenager in age. Maybe you're very young. Maybe you just feel young. Maybe your age actually doesn't reflect how you feel. Right? Or maybe you are a little older and you desire to feel young. Right? To have that energy again. So that you can keep moving. So that you can survive these lands. Because it's a little harsh out there. You know, you've got to sow your dirt. Sow the soil. Plant your seeds. Figure out which direction you're going in. This could be like a compass. Which direction do you want to go into? Okay, and then we have the obstacle. You are you're having nightmares about this. You're too much in your head. Uh, it looks like there's um, a bed of roses, right? This is like the death of you, I feel like. Because you're so much in your head, it's it's causing a lot of pain and turmoil. It's keeping you up at night. You have sleepless nights. You're trying to figure it out. It's like a chess game. You've got all these squares on your blanket. What's your next move, right? You're still trying to figure out what is your next move. You're like way too much in your head, though. And you're very agonized about this. Okay, 
And then we have the solution, which is the magician. Um, the magician is a Virgo energies. And here we have the roses again, right? Maybe you planted these seeds here and you're thinking about, I want roses, I want roses. And now you're growing these roses. Right, this is the solution. Conjure up your magic. You have put your sword down. You have a pentacle here. You also have a cup. You know, put down those emotions. Don't really worry about the pentacle so much. You also have a wand here. So you have all the elements here. You have all the tools that you need. Just set them down. They're here. The tools are here for you to use whenever you need it. It looks like you're burning uh, a candle at both ends. Right? Because you're overthinking here. Maybe you need to put that candle down. Okay, you are magical. You, you are going to create this. You're going to have infinity. You are going to have... All these elements. The solution is to wait. You know, magic can be instantaneous, but at the same time, it's not really. Because if you're putting together a lot of herbs, um, you know, gathering all the ingredients that you need to put into this, this pot, to create what you're trying to gain, right? You need to wait for that time for the roses to grow. You need to plant the seeds. You need to put your hands in the dirt. And you need to wait for them to grow. And then you can use that as part of your ingredient. But you need to gather all of your tools. But you are gonna get what you desire. You're going to get what is meant for you. You know, magic is about like your deepest desires. And what do you want to conjure up right now? What do you want to manifest? You have all the tools. Don't worry so much about it. Okay. Make the plan though. You can make the plan. You can look to the future. But you're going to be infinitely abundant in whatever the situation comes out as. All right? And swords are about challenges. You will have some challenges. It's not going to be easy. You do need to study to become a magician. You don't just put something together and be like, okay. Whatever pop up, right? You have to know about these things. You have to study. This is like years of studying. This could be months. This could be weeks. This could be days. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. This is infinity. You're just going to continuously study to get to what you want, to your desire. Okay, and then swords are fast moving. Um, and see, I'm trying to think of like the months that it is. So it's fall. So in the fall, this may happen in the fall. Maybe you need to get rid of something. Something needs to fall to drop off in order for you to create this magic. Right? Getting out of your mind. Releasing something. Cutting cords to something or someone. So that you can stand here in your own. And be triumphant. Even though you have burnt the candle at both ends here, you're holding it up as if it's a trophy. Look at this hard work that I had, that I've done to get to where I am.
All right, so let's look at um, what it is you're desiring here. Community. Neighbors, team, connection, society, cooperation. You're looking to build a community, right? It takes a village to have a farm like this. Not just one person does this. You have a lot of other people who are sowing the soil that are helping you out. That's your community. You're looking to your neighbors for connection and cooperation to get to the solution here. So you're trying to figure it out. Who do I need to talk to? You can hear a train. Who do you need to talk to here in your community? Who can help you out? Who can be part of what you're trying to create? You know, maybe this is a, a mentor of some sort as well, helping you to learn about how to grow these roses because you don't know anything about how to grow these roses. That's why you're, you're in this mindset of, oh, I just can't do this. And it's frustrating you and you're getting uh, into a space that is negative, right? So you need to look to your community for this. Okay, detective. Investigator of truth, sleuth, clues, pursuer, truth unveiled. You gotta be a little bit of a detective here, right? You gotta find these people who are gonna help you out. You gotta find the truth. You gotta find the information. Look for the clues. Maybe there's signs. Maybe uh, Archangel Michael is, are, is sending you signs or your ancestors. Look to the clues. Maybe you're dreaming about it. There's some clues in your dreams. Okay, and this one wanted to pop out. Stranger. So this is somebody new who's going to come in to help you. Passersby. Encounter by chance. Mutual aid. New friend. All right? The stranger, somebody that you're going to meet probably in your community that you're going to find. And they're going to help you with this truth. All right, let's do the ruin. All right, so this one I'm definitely going to have to look at the, the, the book here. Okay. And we have uh, Laguz, the seahorse. A seahorse is very enchanting and living in the sea. All right, let's see. Uh huh. Is this the right one? Mm hmm. That's my book. Right here, this is the wrong book. Lagoos. Let's see. Uh, I'm guessing these are in order. No. Uh huh. So, where are you? There you are. Seahorse. Floating in the great waters, this tiny seahorse feels the currents ebbs and flows in this great universal ocean of life. In her, in her softly shifting dream state, oh, see, we were just talking about your dreams, right? In your dream state. She knows the utility of all life and the connection that flows through past, present, and future. In her world, water is everywhere, pervading all things, the living energy source of everything. She is a symbol of unconscious and invisible life forces, the dream state, the hidden aspects of self. 
Laguz is a wonderful rune in the way water is powerful, fluid, and ever-changing. It calls you to release the struggle and go with the flow. Right? Go with the flow. Release the struggle. Spend time in meditation. That's what I said. And allow your deeper intuitive state to speak to you and guide you. Laguz reminds you that the life's journey, not all can be controlled. And change is the only constant. Without change, life becomes stagnant. In reverse, this rune indicates storms and crashing waves. It can also mean depression, withering, illusion, emotional blackmail, and overall toxic toxicity. Keywords, flow, memory, dreams, the unconscious, fate, and karma. Right, here's your dreams. Your memory, your flow, you're blocking yourself here with this, the challenges. Okay, magical workings, clairvoyance, and future sight are enhanced by Laguz. Use this rune as an aid to work with the dream state and astral projection, possibly tracing it over your third eye. Right, I love that because we have the eye here. It's your third eye, it's literally up here. This is your dream state. Go with the flow in order to create your magic. All right, and we are gonna do crystal ball pocket oracle. No need to worry, <laughs> right? Stop worrying about this so much. Right here, stop worrying about it. You can make the plan, but don't worry. Go with the flow. All right, let's look at uh, what it says here. No need to worry. Often there are situations that we fret and worry about, even when we're out of our control. These situations can keep us up at night. The no need to worry card lets you know that even if things are dark, a resolution and an easing will come. Worry will not improve anything, and dawn is just around the corner. Right? There's your dawn right here. It's right around the corner. It's the solution. Get more information. Let's see. What did I say about uh, learning how to grow your roses, right? You need more information, which you're going to get. From your community the stranger you know the detective looking for more information get more information this card can function not just as a general suggestion that more information will help guide your decisions but also as a warning that people or situations might not be as they initially seem seek to learn more about your present circumstances Hmm. Yeah, I definitely, I get that because I feel like anytime I meet somebody new, um, there's always a point to where, you know, I think they're really cool, uh, they're an awesome person, but then over time, there's always something that I see that I don't like that triggers me or serves as a warning about this person that may have seemed really cool and nice and giving me information, but maybe um, I feel like they're kind of stealing my energy, right? Um, you can't always trust everyone. You really have to be a detective here because you don't know the stranger. This is just somebody who's in your community, but you have to be the detective. You have to kind of learn about this other person before you put full trust into them because they are not as they initially seem. Seek to learn more about your present circumstances. Okay. I want to know what this warning is about. 
Here, let me do the Audacity. The Audacity deck. To get more information about this warning. Get more information about this warning. The mom boss. Okay, so this looks like somebody who is working from home. They have a couple children here. And they have like a stack of papers. So um, this could be a mentor. This could be a coworker. Um, this could just be a mom that's in the neighborhood, right? And some, somebody that's helping these children to grow, right? But they're also trying to do their own thing and they're doing a lot of studying. They're doing their detective work here. Um, this is almost like a rainbow, but it's on fire, right? So things aren't necessarily as they seem because it seems kind of like a rainbow, but it's not the colors of a rainbow and it's on fire. Rainbows are not usually on fire. Uh, maybe this is somebody who is kind of childish, right? They need to do a lot of studying as well. Maybe this is you, right? Because you're doing a lot of studying, a lot of detective work, but you have a lot of other responsibilities. You know, so things are not necessarily as they seem, right? Because online here, you're doing a lot of work. So the people online might just see you as one way, but they don't understand that you have all these other responsibilities here and you're burning the candle at both ends, right? Maybe somebody is lashing back at you. Like right now, this is the energy that's going on. Uh, we just had the lunar eclipse and we're about to have a solar eclipse, which is a really big one right now. Um, it only comes around every 12 to 15 years or something that I read, right? So this is a very special uh, solar eclipse, but it's causing a lot of energy. Um, you know, I consider myself to be a good person, yet in the past week or so, I am just like this raging emotional person who's like, just get away from me, right? I can't, you need to go away. Like, this is like me trying to do my work and here I am, I have my stack of papers, I have my laptop, I have my phone, right? And I'm trying to grow this company, um, at One Who Seeks on YouTube, yet I have my two dogs, so I have dogs, I don't have children, but I am a mom in that sense. And they're driving me crazy, but they're kind of upset at me because I'm not paying attention to them, right? So there's this, all this fire and there's anger and I find that my emotions get kind of swept away with that because I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to concentrate and I have all these interruptions. I don't have any privacy. I'm sitting here on a stool. This literally looks like me. Just in the middle of nowhere. I'm in the middle of my RV. And I'm trying to get this work done, but I have all these distractions. Right? But you can't see that. As the viewer, you might be able to hear some of it. Like, um, you know, most of the time I cut out the barking and the interruptions with my husband coming in and trying to talk to me. And, you know, I get a little frustrated because I want some privacy and I haven't had privacy in five and a half years. I'm always having to tend to somebody else, right? But I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to create this rainbow. So seem, things aren't always as they seem. 
I might seem super happy-go-lucky right now. I'm really excited to be doing this reading and having a little bit of time to myself to be able to spend it with you. Let's see what it says about the mom boss. Okay. Checking that it. Uh huh. In the wrong way. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. Oh. I will learn my Roman numerals. <laughs> I have a lot of decks with Roman numerals now. Um, well, let's see. The mom boss. This is on page 18. It's a nine. It's about wisdom. All right. A skeleton mom balances her laptop and her cell phone in the foreground with her kids playing underfoot. In the background is a mix of a rainbow a field of flowers and everything as she knows it bursting into flames. Your message. You are the boss of all you do. You do it all and you do it well. At this point, your own flesh could peel from your body and you'd keep trying typing on your laptop. You are an expert multitasker, but you could learn to delegate. Give up some control and start handing things off. Wow. That's a strong message, right? This is about your community and the stranger and the detective looking for somebody to help you out because you're balancing too many things and it's causing you to have sleepless nights, right? Because you have this dream. You have this plan. You have this dream. This is what you want. You want to create this magic. You want to manifest something. But you need to delegate some tasks because it's becoming very overwhelming and you have too much on your plate. Okay, you have these nine swords on your plate. You don't need that many knives to eat, right? You only need one knife. There's a lot of things going on here, but you have all the tools. But you need to seek out your community. You need to seek out the stranger for some help. So that you can grow this business in a more efficient way. To where you are not reeling in your head and causing yourself agony. Or your family agony, right? Because you're, ah! <laughs> Why don't you just leave me alone? I'm trying to get this work done. Kind of feeling, right? So seek out some help. Somebody's got to help you here. Somebody's going to teach you about how to grow these roses. These beautiful roses. They do have thorns though. They can poke you. And it is going to hurt. It's not going to be easy. But roses are beautiful. Roses right here. From my lovely husband. For our six year date anniversary On April 1st which is April Fool's Day. And he is the Fool card, right? So ironically, maybe in my situation, I need to look towards my husband for more help in creating this business because we have these roses that he brought me. But I need to learn how to grow them myself, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be my husband, but this is definitely about family. This is being a mom. For you, it could be somebody else, right? There is a stranger in your community here. They're gonna help you. You need to look for them. Do some research. Right, everyone. 
it's a pretty intense reading. I really enjoyed using these new cards though. I feel like I got a lot of information out of this. I hope that you did too. Um, just remember, this is about your intuition. Okay, I am reading this from my intuition. I am using the books a little bit here too, which I don't do a whole lot, but um, sometimes you need to learn new things, right? Sometimes you have to read it from a book. It doesn't just come from your mind. You have to learn it somewhere at some point. So seek someone else, seek someone out to help you. All right, thank you very much community. And uh, if you liked this, please subscribe, like, and share so others can get the same benefit. I really enjoyed having you here with me during this reading. You can also uh, book yourself a personal reading at onewhoseeks.info if you would like a personal reading from me to help support me and what I am trying to create here. If you want to be the stranger in the community that helps me out to grow this, uh, I would really appreciate it. I right, thank you for watching um, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.